Hey guys, back with another Code Wars Kata. This one is called Bit Counting. I'm going to read the instructions. As you can see, I have my code over here like before. But let's just go over this right now. So write a function that takes an integer as input and returns the number of bits that are equal to 1 in the binary representation of that number. You can guarantee that the input is not negative. So this is very important. The fact that we won't get a negative back um, as one of the inputs is really good for us. It's kind of confusing to work with negatives, at least for me. So over here, I just copied over into Adam what we need. Now I'm just going to go over some really basic quick stuff with you um, that I found out was pretty interesting to me. So I'm just going to comment these out. I mean, you guys might have already seen what was at the bottom there, right? But it doesn't matter. So if you look down here, obviously console log 9 is equal to 9. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard of dot string, right? I'm sure most of us have used it by this point. Turns in something into a string, but if we do, right? So 9 dot to string, and we leave it empty, we're just getting 9 down here as a string. Really simple. Now here's the thing is we leave this empty so it kind of chooses what we put it what um, I'm not even sure what it's called but basically what it's using whether it's hex des uh, binary whatever so normally it's in des so decimal so using ten base so normally if you don't touch it it's going to be like that is what it would be shown as as you can see it's still nine. Now, if we want to put it in binary, all we had to do is switch it to 2. That's saying it's base 2, so it's only going to use 0 and 1 operators. So if we go through and do this, you can see console log 9 is still 9. Console log 9 to string base 10 is still 9. But console log 9 to string base 2 is 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, if we want, I could just to show you, we could put that back. So like console log. 0b is just saying that the number is a binary, so this isn't the number itself. This is just telling the computer what we're about to write is binary. And we put our 1001 in there, and then we write to string, and we put the 10, like I was saying up here. We don't need it up here, but like I was saying, it's base 10. And we get 9 still, 9 still, of course, the 1001, and then 9. So we can convert it back. So up here, in order to, as it says, take a number, which is n, and convert it into its binary equivalent, we're going to do let x equal n dot to string base 2. And we're going to then take this and split it. So obviously it says 1001, right? So we want to count up all the ones. That's what it said here. Count up all the ones from its binary form. So uh, there might be a faster way. Uh, how I did it, though, was let nw equal to x dot split. And then that is splitting it up so there's an array with 1, 0, 0, and 1 in it. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to make a new variable. So I'm just going to do let finals equal, or let final equal 0. And the 0 is just a placeholder. So down here is how we're going to actually count up all the ones that are in whatever number they give. So of course 9 is really easy. If it was a bigger number there'd be tons of ones, tons of zeros, and just start getting wild. So we're just going to do 4 let i equal 0 i less than nw dot length i plus plus and then we're going to go open this up, and it's going to be really simple. We're just going to do final 
plus equals number NWI. Now, the reason why we needed number here is it's just going to convert whatever is in there to its number equivalent. So right now, since we turned it into a string and split it, it's a, just a split string. Uh, I guess technically we could have put dot to string two dot split, but I put it on two lines instead. So what this is doing is going to go through the array, so it's going to go up to the one and it's going to go OK. Instead of being one as a string, it's going to put the one string here. Number is going to convert it into an actual number. And then it's going to add it to final. So the first time around is going to be one. Of course, one plus zero is still equal to one. And then so we should get two. And then we're going to come down here and go return final because we always want to return it. And just to test out, we're going to go console log count bits nine. And the answer is two. So that's how many ones are in there. So that this whole thing right here from this up, that's the answer. And this is just something that I used to check it. So we can just take all this. Paste it into here, test, passed. I would attempt it. I already done all this, so I'm not going to. I don't want extra kata points. But that's the solution. That's how it works. Um, for any of you who are looking down here at this, you can see that in my old code, I used this right here. Um, that pushes decimal places left. Uh, or rather zeros. It's, it's kind of hard to explain without looking at it in binary, but if 9 was equal to 1001, if you do 9, let's say 2, then that'll make it 001001, which will change the number completely. I'm not sure how useful that is. Um, doing this is just for negative numbers, so I guess we have time. So uh, let's just do this console.log and see for ourselves how this works, because I didn't even try this out yet. So this is pretty interesting to me. Okay. Huh, why is my console log all red? because it's not the opposite end. There we go. Okay, console.log to string two. And let's go ahead and run that. So we got that mess. zero B to let it know that we're putting code in. Dot two string base ten. Yeah, so you see I'm not sure really what that did. Like I know that it pushed over the spots except for it's by zero. But I was told that this is necessary for when you're dealing with negative numbers in binary. Again, I don't know fully what it does, but as you can see, it has an effect. So pushes over zeros, and um, that's that. So anyway, yeah, so this is how you solve it. Don't worry about this. You don't need that. This is fine. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to be posting more videos as I solve more katas. Uh, and so have a great night.